Hi viewers, welcome to Blood Test. We thank everybody of you who have subscribed our channel and continuously following our channel to improve your diagnostic knowledge and also want to start your own diagnostic business. Every day there is some or the other advancement in this laboratory world and there is a lot of advances and updates in the diagnostic business and we know that we have to keep you informed, give knowledge to you regarding all these updated automated machines so that you have the best correct knowledge for you to choose the best machine which will be best suitable for your diagnostic setup. In this IVD series, the first machine we are going to see is the Erba H360 which is the basic three-part hematology analyzer. So this H360 is a very compact machine and it weighs around 25 kilograms and it is a tabletop machine. As the number suggests this 360 is that 3 is for the three-part differential analyzer. If you see in the WBC, there are five types of WBC. So in this three-part analyzer, you will get it as three parameters, neutrophils, lymphocyte and other three parameters of WBC that is the eosinophils, basophils and monocytes as a single mixed cell component. This is the main thing which you will be getting in a three-part hematology analyzer when compared to a five-part hematology analyzer. And the number 60, that is the 360, in the number 360, the 60 denotes the throughput, that is what sample, I mean like what output the machine can give. So it can give around 60 tests per hour. This is what the number 360 denotes in a Erba H360. Knowing so much about this machine, first we need to know what are the parameters this machine would be able to give us. It usually it can give about 22 parameters and along with that it can give 3 histograms also. This 22 parameters includes the hemoglobin and the WBC, the differential WBC, RBC and the RBC indices are also included in these 22 parameters. And now we know that there are 22 parameters which are going to come from the CBC mission. So we need to know now we need to know what is the technology or principle used by this machine to you know term it as a latest advanced technology machine here they use two technologies for giving these 22 reports the first one is the electrical impedance principle technology through this electrical impedance the parameters measured are the wbc the rbc the platelet and also the differential WBC counts and they use the calorimetric method for you know measuring the hemoglobin and hematocrit here is a calculated parameter from the other components of measurements. Now we are going to the what are the other things we can expect from this machine. So this is giving around 22 parameters along with 3 histograms. What are the other thing which we need to see which the machine is giving us as an added advantage. So there are 3 added advantages in choosing this machine. One is the anti-clock technology. Second one is a thermal printer which is an inbuilt in -built thermal printer. Most of the CBC analyzer of course has the in built thermal printer so what is the advantage of this thermal printer if you are not connecting your laboratory to an LIS system or if you're not connecting your hematology analyzer to a separate laser printer or a separate printer this machine can itself give a printout of all the uh, parameters along with the histograms in one sheet that is a thermal printout. So this machine can give us a thermal print on its own and it has an inbuilt thermal printer which is again an added advantage. The third most important thing which is also a very newly added feature is it has real time inventory management that is inside the machine itself you can manage the inventory of this machine and its related consumables. And uh, regarding the consumables on a regular basis you know to run the machine you need to buy these consumables and three consumables are usually involved in this hematology analyzer, three-part hematology analyzer. One is a lice, diluent and a cleaner solution. So now we need to know what is the sample volume needed to run each test. So it varies from machine to machine and this particular machine Erba H360 
needs around 9 microliter of whole blood sample to run one CBC. So this mi 9 microliter is common for all age group whether it's a child or adult. It is the same volume which this machine needs to run the CBC. And the throughput of this machine, as I already informed in the beginning of this video, is around 60 tests per hour. So if you're going to continuously load samples to the CBC machine, it can give 60 samples or 60 CBC in total output per hour. This is the throughput of this machine. And the data storage is one important thing. Again, like how the thermal printer is very useful when you're not connected to a printer. Similarly, if you're not going to store a data separately or if you're not going to be get connected to an LIS system, this machine itself, inside it itself, it has a storage capacity of around 50,000 samples on its own. And uh, the last one, where will we use this machine? This machine Herba H360 can be used in a small to mid-sized laboratory. This is about the Herba H360 and our next video is going to be about the Herba H560 which is a five part differential hematology analyzer and after completing that video, I'll also give you a quick comparison between the H360 and 560 for you to have more clarity upon choosing the best machine which should be needed for your diagnostic center. If you have any doubts regarding establishing your center, if you have doubts in choosing the best machine for your center, you can definitely contact us at pathlabstartup at gmail.com or you can also WhatsApp us at the below mentioned number. Thank you for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed my channel, kindly subscribe it, share it and like it. Thank you. Dr. Lalita signing off.